Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating a database in PostgreSQL. Creating a database is the first step in getting started with PostgreSQL. And I'll show you two methods using PSQL shell and using pgadmin for graphical user interface. So let's dive right in. If you have PostgreSQL installed locally, you have the flexibility to choose between PSQL shell, a command line interface or the pgadmin4 graphical user interface. Let's start with psql shell method. Open the psql shell and connect to the postgresql server by pressing enter and then entering the password when asked. This command connects to the postgresql server using the default username which is postgres. After connecting successfully, you'll see the command prompt change to reflect your connection and now you can create a new database using the following SQL command create database test1 test1 is the name of your new database make sure to end the command with a semicolon to confirm that the database has been created you can use the command backslash l which lists all the databases in the server Look for your newly created database in the list. Great! You have successfully created a database using PSQL shell. Now, to connect to the database that we have created, we type backslash c followed by the name of our database, which is test1 in our case. After hitting enter, we get a confirmation message. Now, if you want to delete a database that you've created, first you need to close the database that we've connected to. To do that, we can connect to the default Postgres database by typing backslash C followed by Postgres. Now we are connected to the default Postgres database and we'll be able to delete the created database. This can be done by typing drop database followed by the database name that you want to delete. You can also use the command drop database if exists followed by the database name. This command ensures that no errors are thrown when you are deleting a database. It works by making sure that the database exists before deleting it. For example, let's try to delete a database that doesn't exist. We type drop database Example, when you try to do so, you'll get an error that says that the database doesn't exist. Now, let's move on to the second method using the pgadmin4 graphical user interface. To create a database using pgadmin4, follow these steps. Open pgadmin4 and in the left sidebar, expand the servers section it should be listed with the name that you had provided during installation. Here you can see that we already have the default database Postgres listed. To create a new database, right click on the PostgreSQL server and select create and then database. In the database dialog box, enter a name for your new database. Optionally, you can specify other parameters such as the owner, table space and encoding. For now, let's keep the default settings. Click save to create the database. Similarly, create another database named example. In pgadmin4, you'll be connected to the created database by default and you can disconnect from it if you want by right clicking on it and selecting the disconnect option. To reconnect to the database, just click on it. In pgadmin4, you can easily delete a database by right clicking on it and selecting the delete or drop option. That's it. You now know how to create a database and delete or drop it using pgadmin4. Now you can start working with your new database using the graphical user interface. Both methods provide flexibility in creating databases and you can choose the one that suits your preference and workflow. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.